hi in the last class we had discussed on the stock turnover ratios okay so i hope all of you understand so we solved on that two problems okay so next techniques of the stock level is what's the economic order quantity so you know what by economic order quantity earlier i explained that right okay so the economic order quantity means what's the quantity of quantity of materials order is to be one time once time is nothing but what's economic order quantity okay so now see this is the formula of the economic order quantity okay so this economic order quantity is equal to under the root okay so this is called as the under the root 2AO divided by C. Okay, so this is the formula, and this formula will come for the two marks in your exams. Okay, so you should know this formula. You have to buy this formula. Okay, so what's the formula? Economic order quantity is equal to under the root 2AO divided by C. Okay, divided by C. So now C. So this EOQ is nothing but the economic order quantity. So this 2, it's a figure. So 2 a means what's 2 into a and so a means what's the annual consumption okay so this a stands for the annual consumption a into o so o means what's ordering and receiving cost per unit okay so this is the ordering cost okay divided by c and c means what's the cost of carrying inventory okay so cost of carrying inventory okay so this cost of carrying inventory how to calculate so carrying cost is equal to material cost into percentage of carrying cost or holding inventory okay so like this we have calculated the carrying cost okay so the economic order quantity is equal to under the root under the root 2 ao divided by c okay so 2 into annual consumption into ordering cost divided by carrying cost okay so like, like this is the formula of the economic order quantity okay so now on this we will see one problems okay so just see problem on economic order quantity okay so calculate economic order quantity from the following okay so a annual consumption is equal to how many units 600 units okay ordering cost ordering cost 12 per order carrying cost 20% and the price per unit rupees 20 okay price per unit 20 okay So now see this is the formula, and so this is the formula. E O Q is equal to under the root 2 A O divided by C. Okay. So you know, so A means what's the annual consumption? The annual consumption is given in the problem. How many units? 600 units. Okay. So this O stands for the ordering cost, and the ordering cost is given in the problem rupees 12 per order. Okay. Next one is the what's the cost of carrying what cost of carrying inventory per unit okay so now how to calculate this carrying cost just here given carrying cost is equal to material cost and what's the material cost cost price per unit rupees 20 into what's the percentage of carrying cost and what's the percentage of carrying cost 20% okay so it means 20 divided by 100 is equal to what 4 is nothing but the c okay c is nothing but the carrying cost rupees Four. Okay, so like this, we have to calculate this C. Okay, so how to calculate this C? Material cost into percentage of carrying cost or holding inventory. You will get what's the C? Okay, as a four. Okay, so now put into the formula. Economic order quantity is equal to under the root two into annual consumption is a six hundred into ordering cost is a twelve divided by four. Okay. so like this we have to calculate okay so now solve it uh, step by step how to solve just i i solve here shortcut way okay so first of all 2 into 600 into 12 divided by 4 you will get here 1000 14400 you will get okay 2 into 600 into 12 is equal to how many rupees 14400 divided by 12 4 okay divided by 4 okay next again economic order quantity under the root 14400 divided uh, divided by 4 you will get 3600 under the root okay under the root 3600 you will get and after putting this under the root to uh, 3600 you will get the 100 un 60 units you will get the 
answer 60 units okay so like this you have to solve the problems on economic order quantity okay so like this problem will come for the 5 marks as well as the 2 marks but the formula of the economic order quantity it will come for the 2 marks show short in the exam okay so i hope you understand this problem on the economic order quantity if it is in doubt you can ask me okay thank you